Hi, this is Mohammed Sadiq. In this session, we'll learn how do we create charts in Tableau. The first thing is we'll understand the role of data analyst from the visualization perspective. As a data analyst of an organization, you're asked to visualize a large amount of data to get a better insight from the data sets. So I can say, so your raw data will be generally in the form of a comma separated values, or it can be in the form of a tables, okay, and a very large amount of data. Now from that particular data, understanding the information becomes very difficult job. But the same data, when it has been converted to a graph, okay, it becomes very easy to understand the data. So that is the main purpose why we have to go for the visualizations. Also, it is important to select the most suitable charts or graph for a particular type of data set. Now, again, so you might have the dimensions like um, what is a date fields. When it is a date fields, so I want to have the information which presents the data over a time period. So we generally prefer going for the area chart or the line chart. When I say we have a dimensions for geographic dimensions, I want to have a maps. If I have some kind of uh, categorical information, so I want to have a bar chart for comparing. So selecting the right type of, type of charts. So that is also one more challenges of your data analyst. To achieve this particular task, so we learn some of the charts, okay, which is available in Tableau. Okay, I think. Now, when you see creating a chart in Tableau, chart contains visually appealing data representations that are usually easier to understand than the tables with the numbers. So when you look into this particular thing, on the left-hand side, we have a raw data. So I can say, which is the Excel format. So it becomes very difficult to understand those particular data. And the same data we can say have converted to a different types of charts here. Okay, so with the help of this, we can just try to understand like, you know, how this particular information can be easily visualized. Okay, so let us see how do we create some of the different types of charts. So we'll have a series of uh, uh, videos on creating a different types of charts because we uh, Tableau supports many different types of charts. We'll try to learn some of these particular charts in the this session and the coming session. So to start off with, so first we'll try to see how do we visualize the data in the form of a text table on the cross table. Text table is like one dimensional tables and the cross table is nothing but is a two dimensional tables. Text tables and cross table displays the data in the rows and columns in a tabular format. A text table has aggregated data in a table that is the cross table has two way, two dimensional values. These tables forms are used to provide a reference data for the later use, okay? Uh, let us go ahead with this. Let me go to the tab view. So I'm using a sample super store data, which we have used in the previous session. So which is the data about uh, the, what is the e-commerce data. So we would have seen this particular uh, data here. So now what I will do is if I have to create a text data. So first I will take a dimension. I'll take a subcategory. As soon as you say, select a subcategory, you can see the subcategory is added to the rows and you can see each row is showing the distinct subcategory. That means in my data, we have 10,000 rows. Each subcategory is repeated at least 300 to 500 times. Okay. But you know, it has taken a distinct value because it's a dimension. So the dimension cannot apply a calculation, but it takes a distinct value. So it has taken all the subcategories. Now I want to see each subcategory wise, what is the total sales done? So I'll just select the sales here. As soon as you select the sales, you can see it is added to the text and you can see this is the total sales of individual uh, subcategory. So that means accessories has done a sales of 167,000. Appliances has done a sales of 17,000. So each categories, okay, oh, sorry, subcategories. So it says, what is the sales time? Hey, now what I want is, I also want to know like um, uh, this one cross tab, we'll see. See, why should we have to go to the cross tab? So if I add a region here, so if I just add a region, okay. So if I add a region, okay, uh, next to this one, so you can see accessories is sold in all the four regions. App uh, appliances is showed, uh, sold in all the four regions. So that means the list is growing, okay. So now in this case, what I will do is I'll take this particular region here and add to the columns, when I add to the columns, you can see the column headings becomes a region and the row headings we have is the subcategories. 
Now, what is the advantage you get is whatever the total sales was there for the accessories, you can see it is divided based on the regions. Okay, we are able to see how the accessories is sold, being sold across the different regions, how the individual subcategories is being sold across the different regions. Okay, now that means we are able to see instead of having a long report, so we can easily see this particular data in the two dimension and we can easily compare like, you know, uh, when you talk about this particular accessories, we see that West region, it has done really a very good sales, 61,000 compared to the other region. You can see East 45,000, Central is 33,000 and things. So that means accessories are been very good sold in the West region, high sales in the West region, but low sales in the South region. So you talk about the papers here. So you can see, oh, very good sales in the West region, but very low sales in the South region. So we are able to understand this. Now, apart from this, you want to get the totals. I want to know what is the total sales for the region wise? What is the total sales for the subcategories? I can even apply the totals. So what I do, I'll just go to the analytics here. We have a totals. Just click. I have something called as a column total. It shows me the column wise grand total. So that means we are able to see, okay, each region wise, how much total has been done. Okay, so this is the individual region for the subcategory sales, but this is the individual, the total sales of the central region. This is the total sales of the West region. So we are able to see. So in that case, we see that West region has done the highest sales of 7.25 lakhs, whereas South has done the lowest sales of only 3.91 lakhs. I want to see the total even subcategory wise. So what is the total subcategory sales as well as the individual region? So again, I select the totals here. I'll say row grand total. So we are able to see the row wise grand totals for this. So we see that accessories, total sales of accessories is 1,67,000. And we can see at the same time, accessories sold in the individual region wise. Okay. West has done 41,000. South has done 27,000. East 45,000. Central has contributed 34,000. And overall, you can see 1,67,000 of accessories has been sold. Okay, so we just have the data, something like this. Fine. So this is about your two way tables. Yeah. So the next thing is, so we will look into this particular highlighting of the table. So why do you highlight it? So it becomes easy understanding. Colors are used to highlight the text in the tables. Okay, depending on the values. Now, see, again, you know, as I said, like, reading this particular numbers are good so one thing is with the help of the table we got the summarized value but still i want to know uh, via each subcategory how they have been performed across the region wise so with the help of this particular highlighting we can easily say that accessories have done very good sales in the west region because it has a high intensity green color and you can see the other is low color here so i want to highlight it based on the coloring so it becomes easy understanding that is the only objective of this so I have just done this. So I'll just do it from the beginning again. See, we have the subcategory wise, uh, what you say, let me do it again. Okay, so let me clear this. Now, let us see how do we do this particular highlighting. So I'll take the subcategory and I'll take the sales and I'll also take the region. Okay, so now uh, when you look into this, I think first we'll go with the subcategory itself. Now, if you want to highlight this particular thing, so what is that I will do is I will take this particular sales, add to the color. When you add to the color, you can see the background color, sorry, the text color changes. Now, instead of text color, I want to change the background color. So what I do in the marks card, we have automatic. So there we have a rectangle boxes. As soon as you select a rectangle boxes, you can see it changes the background color. Okay. And what we understand from this one is uh, the green color is the high sale and the red color is the low sales. So we can change this particular color sequence. So I can just say, I want to have a single color. So let me go with the single color. I think blue teal and things. Yeah, this is the default one. Let me go with this. So that means those particular, uh, what do you say, subcategories, which is having the high intensity blue color. So they are the high sales and the low intensity color is the low sales. You can see the legend on your right hand side. So higher sale, uh, highest sales is done is 3.3 lakhs, whereas the lowest sales is 3,000. So there it is. We can see the lowest sales is the whitish color. High sale is the high intensity blue color. Fine. Now, so we can see by seeing this, you know, without even looking at the numbers, without reading the numbers, we can easily say that chairs and phones have done a very good sales. 
okay and envelope and fasteners they are like kind of a low sales okay we are able to analyze that now i want to see this for the region wise so what i do i'll just select the region add to the columns here and you can see it has been spread over like this so we see that chairs have done a very good sales in the west region and then east and the uh, central region but very low sales in the south region so we can see the color itself says like in you know, the light color and here it's a dark color so we see that most of the items have a high intensity in the west region that means the west region we saw the overall was the highest sales and we see almost every item over here is like having high intensity color in the west region whereas arts you can see almost all the low sales here so light color but still we see that west region has more high intensity color and even some products like chairs and all these things so they have done a very good sales in the other regions but south region they haven't done good so that is where we saw that south region had a lower sales like um, the south, south region had only 3.9 lakhs whereas the west is 7.25 lakhs that is how the sales value is okay so this is about how we are able to highlight it. The main objective of highlighting this is, see, numbers are good to see, but it's very difficult to read and analyze. So even you are having the summarized data, but still like, you know, you want to differentiate it really becomes difficult. So for that purpose, when you highlight it with the colors, it becomes more easy to know, like, you know, chairs in which particular region, how they are been performing. You are comparing with the regions or we see in the West region, which all the items have done a very good sales. So we see that when the West region, the highest sales is from the phones that is 98,000 and the chairs 1 lakh 1,000 and then tables 84,000 okay so we are able to see and low sales you can see fasteners only 900 okay so low sales are this fine yeah next is so we'll see with the heat map now what is the heat map See, as I said, when you have a numbers, you'll have a lot of distraction in reading that numbers and things. But instead of numbers, how do we feel that if you have only the, what you say, the colors, okay? So that is what is your heat map. So heat map is like, you know, you're trying to analyze in two dimensions. We have a rows as well as the column wise, you're trying to analyze it. A heat map is a two dimensional representation of the data that uses colors to convey the messages. As the measure values increases, the color intensity also increases. Okay, so let us practically see how exactly we do this heat map. Yeah, so let me go for this heat map. Yeah, I've already done it. Let me redo it again. Now I'll take the same thing. I'll just take the subcategory. And um, here I will take the order date as a rule. I want to see over a period of time how exactly the sales are happening. And then what I will do is, so I've just taken this and uh, let me take the profit because profit can have a negative value also. Let me take a profit and add to the colors. Okay. As soon as you add to the colors, you can see here, it is showing this particular symbols here. Okay. And you can see automatic by default, it is taking as a rectangle boxes itself. So it should be a rectangle box. But you can see one thing is what I've done is I have not added the measure to the labels. If you add a measure to the labels, it will show the labels here. But instead of that, I have added to the color. Fine. That's it. And now let us try to analyze this particular things and we'll try to understand. So if you analyze this one, so we see that copiers had done a very good sales in 2021. And we see that copiers, like, you know, we are trying to analyze it year wise. So in 2018, it was almost invisible. And when you see, it is just 2,900, what is the sales time? Okay. In 2019, we can see uh, we have more sales from the phones. We have more sales from chairs. Okay. But copiers was very light color, light in a low intensity. That means the profit was very low. This is the profit what I'm showing here. And you can see in 2019, okay, it became a little high intensity of the color increased from 2,900, it jumped to 9,900, almost threefold, okay, more than threefold. And then in 2020, you can see again, doubled of what it done in 2019, you can see dark color. And you can see in 2021, it is one of the darkest colors, so very high profit. So we understand that the copiers is been growing, okay, every year on year in a very progressive way. Okay, uh, the way it is showing this particular kind of a profit, okay, what it was, the intensity is just growing. So that is what we understand. 
Uh, we see that bookcase is almost like a negative profit on every year. So only year we had a slight, is almost like zero, but you can see big negative bookcases and tables. Okay, so when you see the legend here, the blue color is the positive and the orange color is a negative profit. And you can see that bookcases, supplies and the tables, they have a negative. And we see that tables was a negative sales in all the three years. And I think we have not looked at it. So it has shown it broken the records like what i mean to say is here we had a sales of minus sorry profit of minus 3000 minus 3500 minus 2900 that is almost minus 3000 minus 3500 but here it has become as minus 8141 so minus 8000 it has um, it has become the biggest negative value i think so we need to we can analyze this particular things how things are changing over a period of time we see missions there was a loss in 2021 but there was a light profit uh, profit in the previous years but okay 21 was not at all a good year for the missions okay accessories we can see again a kind of a progressive growth of accessories is there but we see that they uh, compared to uh, what is say copiers and accessories the copiers have more uh, what is say promising growth okay than the accessories and you can see when the papers have shown a kind of a progress, but I can say the progress in this is really good. But at the same time, there are some products which has shown the decline progress. Okay, so this is what we are able to analyze with the heat map. Is there also a kind of a map, but you know, instead of having a text here, you are trying to show with the colors. And it is a map where we are trying to analyze it two dimensions, row wise as well as the column wise analysis we are able to do. Okay. Here. Next is we'll see with the bar chart. See, generally, when I talk about a bar chart, so what is the bar chart? Bar chart is nothing but a chart which has a collection of vertical bars arranged side by side. Here, the each bar represents the individual item of the dimension. So if I say dimension is a subcategory, so this is the individual subcategory. Okay. Uh, each bar is representing the individual subcategory. Uh, things and the length of the bar is representing the measurable value the measurable value can be a sales it can be a profit okay it can be anything now bar charts can be vertical or horizontal so we have vertical generally call it as a column chart and the horizontal people call it as a bar chart okay things so which can be either vertical or horizontal let us see how do we create this particular bar chart So let me just recreate it. See, it's very simple. So I can say bar chart is one of the default chart in Excel, is it? You select a data, Alt plus F1, you get a bar chart, a okay, single key. That means by default, it creates a bar chart. So what is needed for a bar chart? So we need at least one dimension and one measurable value. So let me take a measure here, sales, okay? And then I want this particular sales. It is the total sales. You can see when you have selected the measure, I have not selected any dimension. It has taken the total sales, which is almost 23 lakhs. Okay. I want to divide this based on the category, subcategory. I'll just select this. You can see the total sales, what was there, 23 lakhs is divided based on each subcategories. So we have around 17 different subcategories. It is divided by the 17 different subcategories. So now what I want is, so let me arrange this. So when I arrange, you can see, okay, here we can easily understand that, okay, the phones have done the highest sales, then is your chairs, it is almost equal to the phones, but slightly with a small margin, so it has ended up in the second place. But you can see the storage, which is in the third place, but it has a big difference. That means phones and chairs have done extremely, extremely very good sales. Okay, that is what we are able to analyze it. Okay. So that is what it is. So now I say example, I want to display the labels on this. So what is that I do? I want to display the sales value. I'll take the sales value, add to the labels here. So you can see it shows me what is the sales value that has been done, how much has been done. See, one thing is like, you know, I don't prefer having this particular text. It becomes your, what you say, you know, the objective of your plot area is compromised there. And um, so without this itself, we can easily make out, no, the x-axis, this is 3 lakhs, 2.5 lakhs. This is more than 3 lakhs. It is like, you know, almost close to 3.5 lakhs. But you can see this is just about 2 lakhs. Okay, this is a very low sales. Okay, but if you want to display the values, you can select this and add to the labels. Okay, fine. This is what we can do. Now, if you want to color this particular bars, 
So we can color in two ways. So I want individual bars with the different colors. So color it based on the dimensions. So dimensions are discrete values. Okay. So I will take the subcategory and add to the color. So individual subcategory becomes a different color because your subcategory is the dimension. Dimension, they are discrete values. Okay. So we can analyze that and we can see the legends are. Or I say like, you know, each products belong to some category. I'll select the category, add to the color. So when I add a color based on the category, so we can see the red color is technology, the blue color is furniture and orange color is office supplies. So we see that the, all the technology are something like, you know, high sales. And uh, we see that office supplies are generally the small, small item office, uh, what is like papers, labels and things. The value itself is low. So the sales itself is small, sales value is low. Okay, we are able to see all the, where exactly the technology and this one stands. Or you can also fill this based on the measure. Like anyhow, the length is representing the sales. Okay, we see that phones and chairs, they have done a very good sales. But I want to show the profit. Color, I want to have it color based on the profit. So I'll take a profit, add to the color. When I add a profit to the color, so you can see here, okay, the phones have done a very good sales and a good profit. Chairs also have done a very good sales, but the intensity of the color is low. So that means... Here we got a profit of 44,000 with the same 3,30,000 sales. It is almost 3,30,000 sales, but a profit of only 26,000. You can see 44,000 and 26, half of the profit. So we can easily say that, we you know, without even looking at the numbers, we can say that, okay, phones are good sales and also good profit, but chairs, good sales, but profit is not good. Uh, we see that copiers, this particular bar is very dark, high intensity color. So that means very good sales and uh, sorry, sales are not that good because the length of the bar is not even half of what it is, is, but we can see the intensity of the color is good. So that means it has a very high profit. So you can see it's the intensity of the color is more than phones. Phones have done a profit of only 44,000, but this has done a profit of 55,000. So we are able to analyze this. Uh, you want to add labels, you can add labels of both sales as well as the profit, you can just add it. You can customize this. I can just go to the labels here. So we can select the sales and I can just say, I want this in blue color. It's fine. Say profit, I want in red color. Uh, I just say a prefix sales. Let's say I want this in black color. Looks good. Okay. And I just say this is profit. I want this also to be in the but I'm just slightly doing a formatting for this. So easily we can come to know what is sales and what is profit. And very good thing is like, you know, I would just want to compare with the copiers and the phones. Select only that. You can see only those has been highlighted. And we can see that uh, in the case of phones, for a sales of 3,30,000, we have a profit of 44,000. But it is in the case of copiers, for the sales of 149000 we have a profit of 55000 So this is the kind of analysis we are able to get it. And we see that tables are negative profit. Here you can see for a sales of 27000 minus 18000 is a profit. Okay, that's a negative profit. What it is going on. Fine. So this is about your bar chart. Now, we do also have a clustered bar chart. And also we have a stack. Clustered is like arranging side by side. Okay. Uh, when you look into this, we have uh, what is a region. And within the region, segment by sales. The individual color is representing the segment. Okay. So let me create this. Cluster chart will show a side by side comparison of each of the legend values. Legend is nothing but your second dimension. Okay. Uh, where do we use this one? Okay, so let me do it again. So first, let me create a sales for the region wise. So we see that overall, the West region has done extremely very good sales. South has done extremely very low sales. A competitor to the West region is the East region. And a central region has done an average sales of five lakhs. This is what we are able to analyze. But I want to know in the each region, the segment wise contribution, like, you know, how much sales is done by the corporate segment of customers, the consumer segment of customers and things. I'll just add a segment. I'll just add a segment next to the region. 
next to region, I'm adding a segment. So we can see that it is showing the segments here. Uh, let me color it based on the segment so that it becomes easy to understand. So we see that here is, uh, we see that, you know, the tall bars are in the west region, but all the regions may we see that the blue color is in the top. So what is blue color here? Is nothing but consumer. Consumers have done a very good sales. Then we have as a corporate, and then we have as a office office supplies. So we understand that almost in every region we see that um, almost fifty percent of the sales are like you know high, very high sales by the consumers, and a kind of low sales by the home office in all the regions. We are able to easily understand. Fine. Okay. So now. We do also have what we call as a stacked bar chart. So generally when I talk about a stack, stack is like arranging one above the other. Stacking is nothing but it is just arranging one above the other. Okay, we call it as a stack. Again, this can be horizontal or vertical. A stacked bar chart is a bar chart with the second dimension added to the color. Okay, so instead of having the, in the case of cluster, it is side by side. In the case of stack, it is one above the other. Stack chart will be will stack each of the legend values on top of each other. This is better option if you want to see the overall total for each sub point. So what I mean to say here is, let us see this particular stack, the same thing. Okay, let me do it from the scratch. Uh, let me take the sales divided based on the region. So we see that overall West region has done the highest sales. But I want to know within the each region, the segment wise contribution. So what I do, see before what I did is I took the segment, I added to the column. Now I will take the segment that is the second dimension and I'll add to the color. As soon as you add to the color, we can see it just stacks one above the other. And you can see the legends here. Okay, this is the center, uh, consumers, corporates and the home office. Okay, so we understand here almost in every this one. Okay, the dark blue color is like you know bigger height, so that means we have more sales. But how much more becomes difficult to analyze it. But still, like we can have a kind of thing is almost like you know uh, whatever is done by the west. Uh, so what is the corporate and the home office it could equal into that. So half of the bar is this one. So we see almost fifty percent of the sales is done by the consumer in all the regions. Okay, and here we get the other information is, okay, which region has done the highest sales? So we see that overall, we see that West region has topped the sales and in the, in every region, we see the uh, what say, consumer has done, done the higher contribution. We get two information here, the overall as well as the individual contribution compared to the cluster. See here, you can see they have, but you know which region has done a better sales. So if it has been arranged one above the other as a one single bar, it becomes more easy to understand. Otherwise, we see that East also has done good, West also in this one. So we see in this case, so comparing, okay. So here we can see the, uh, this has, see, we see, look, look into this and this, they have almost the same sales, the same sales. But in the home office, we can see this bar and uh, this bar. Is slightly bigger, so okay thing. So we see slight, there is a marginal difference. It becomes very difficult to judge whether East has done a better sales or the West has done the better sales, okay? Uh, but with the help of the stack, it becomes more easy, okay? Uh, you want to show the values, you can just show the values here, show the sales into the labels, into the values. Now any, bar, any charts, you know, it can be vertical or it can also be horizontal. So what we do is you have a snap, uh, what is it, swap. Okay, so when you swap, rows will be converted to columns and columns will be converted. So we see that, or oh, where we can easily see that particular uh, text also. This will be very useful when you're putting the dashboards uh, because we need to uh, ensure that, you know, we are consuming a lesser plot area, but at the same time, we are giving more information. We can see the text also is more uh, visible here and even the headings also is more clear here. Okay, so we see these things. Okay, so this is about your different types of bar charts. Okay, so in the coming sessions, we'll learn about the other charts. Okay, thank you for this one.